need to be open. Are you ready to stand before a holy God tonight? If you die, do you know where to be going? Because they said, if you end up in hell, that's for eternity. Eternity is a long time. No water, no air. You know how we know there's there's not going to be any water there? There's a story in the Bible about a, a rich man that had a gate. Some men used to carry a, a, cri a crippled man called Lazarus, and they would send him outside of his gate. And he'd go by this man every day, and he, he would just walk right by him and one day the rich man died and he looked up it was so bad in hell he he looked up and saw Lazarus and he asked God to have Lazarus come and just get a drop of water on the tip of his finger and touch it to the tip of his tongue God said that's impossible. You're separated. You're separated from me. He said, well, at least go to my brother's house and tell them. I don't want them to come here. I don't want, it, I don't want them to come to hell. And that's how we know. Amen. Because he saw from hell. Last week. He just wanted a drop of water on his tongue. If you don't know Jesus tonight, you need to give your life to him. A lot of people get hung up on good and bad. God doesn't care about good and bad. You're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. You're, you're, you're living in your sin. Once you become saved, then it'll matter to you. But right now, God just wants you reconciled to Him. We're not out here trying to sell you anything. This is a free gift of God. Anyone, anyone can go to heaven. It's not about church. It's not about your brother being a pastor, your mom and dad being saved. If you're not saved, you need to do that. I don't know how to stress that. I've had several friends die recently. I've been to so many funerals lately that some of them were a joy. We knew that person was going into the arms of Jesus. I can only imagine what they're seeing. But these others, you see them put up on Facebook and, and places that says, rest in peace. But yet they were far from Jesus. That makes no sense. ask you today what you have to say Jesus come into my life Jesus come into my life I'm sorry for what I've done I want to serve you take my life I want to serve you from now on I repent turn from my sin you can be saved born again man it's not complicated I got saved at three o'clock in the morning. I didn't know anything about the Bible. Just some men told me about Jesus. It 
took me a few times. I, I prayed for a month or so, and, and nothing happened. But my heart was not broken and contrite. I thought it was going to be like some sort of magic trick. <laughs> but what it was is, I was completely surrendered. I was broken. I was separated from God, and I knew it. But I had that that yearning inside of me, and you all have it. The Bible says everyone knows God exists. He built that into you. A lot of people try to suppress that with alcohol, drugs, sex, pornography. That might be good for a short time. You may be satisfied, but you ever notice as soon as you're done, you're still not satisfied. You can go out and buy a new car, you can buy a new home, You can get drunk, but you wake up in the morning and you feel bad. Where do you think that comes from? Why do you think you, you feel bad about things? Why do, you feel, why do you have a guilty conscience? You know, the scientists would like to tell you we come from monkeys, that we evolved. There's no proof. No proof of evolution. Amen. They just have, like, stuff cavemen and the Smithsonian Institute or there's no fossil record people say well we're going to believe those scientists but then you do the research for yourself there is no proof that's why they call it the missing link the missing link has never been found but the Bible who everybody thinks is written by a bunch of men explain a lot of things about washing your hands so you don't get sick. You know, the Bible talked about the spreading of germs before scientists were around. Man. They knew that. You touched a dead body, you couldn't be around a person for a week. They knew the earth was round before. Yeah. They had telescopes and because all you've done is like no. So I'm just saying today, give your life to Jesus. Before it's too late. Yeah. It's not hard to do. You can have that <coughs> inner peace. You can live with that inner joy, no matter what happens to you. My wife just got over breast cancer, never scared, never afraid. She went through chemotherapy, radiation, multiple surgeries, completely healed right there. Oh. She had that peace of God inside of her. Amen. That peace of God you get from being born again. You only get that if you're born again.